I'm glad to be back here with you today. We do have a lot to discuss. There's been quite a few things on. You're in the middle of a court case at the current time. That's partly why we're here. We want to uh, advertise and promote, for want of a better term, your upcoming court case in Sydney at the Downing Centre on the 27th of February, which is Tuesday of next week, rapidly approaching. Can you give us some details, some background details on what the case revolves around and what you're attempting to achieve with your court hearing? Well, because they've outlawed me uh, 14 years ago, uh, they said, no, you, you can't go to court. They've banned me from the court. So therefore, because I can't go to court, even even as police assault me, which I've done several times, I can't prosecute the police. So therefore, uh, I've got to make them take me to court. So I create this little situation of, um, I've got this technique of yellow paint bombs and uh, I decide this will be the appropriate uh, ammo box to induce a, a court case. So on several occasions I've thrown a very small amount of yellow paint, a crook of course because you wash it off, uh, at the uh, uh, I was a Parramatta court twice, and they did nothing about it. They just, they just, and I was waiting for them, I said, oh, what's going to happen? So they just cleaned it up, didn't do anything about it. So then I thought, oh, I'll go into the Supreme Court and throw it on the uh, Supreme Court. And then they, I had to wait for it to turn up. I had a couple of copies waiting for it, and they arrested me, and then they, they, they charged me. And I said, well, I didn't know what to do with the court, because that's what I'm uh, fighting for our rights. So the, that was uh, brought into the Downing Centre and uh, they had the came, typical kangaroo courts. I said, no, I want trial by jury. They were going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Going into all the, the things, not only about the um, uh, atmosphere, actually doing it, that's irre irrelevant. It's the actual uh, mens rea, the guilty mind. You can't be convicted unless you've got the guilty mind. So I want to go into all the reasons why and justify uh, this action. And the main reason is because we've been denied our inalienable rights to trial by jury. Yes. Because by trial by jury, we govern ourselves. We uh, set the tone uh, of the whole country. We can control uh, the parliaments, we can control uh, the commerce, everything under the sun. So we, we can only be convicted by the lawful judgment of their equals, which is Magna Carta. Yes. So all the time it comes back to that simple thing in Magna Carta. If we don't have the right to trial by jury, then we are not free men. Because Magna Carta says no free man shall be imprisoned. Okay? So if we haven't got that right of the trial by jury to, to decide our fate, then we're, we are slaves. And the, the whole thing is about consent. We have the right of consent. But they say, no, no, your consent to your material, they'll just bulldoze over us. Mm -hmm. And they'll, uh, they'll take away our, uh, our property because they choose to, not because it's, it's, it's lawful. And uh, they'll fine us, uh, they'll, they'll put us in prison at a whim. And that's just not on. So we've got to get our courts back. So this is why I've got actually three cases going at the moment. Uh, one in the, the Downing Centre and two in Parramatta. The one in Downing Centre is quite interesting because it's in the district court for a second time. Because the first time to the Downing Centre local court, they had the kangaroo court, and they convicted me of damaging uh, problems. And then I appealed against that, went into the district court, and actually had a very good judge. He said, it's fair enough. He, he, because I, I was challenged in jurisdiction. He said, yeah, we'll set that, that judgment aside, go back and do it again. So we went back to the local court and did the same thing again. They had the kangaroo court. And so now I'm appealing for a second time on the same issue because I challenged the jurisdiction of the court. And when, when you go to a court, you've got to have a jury. And if you don't have a jury, uh, they say, oh, what's going on? And they say, oh, there's summary offence. I said, not without my consent. And they say, your consent is material. So you challenge the jurisdiction of the court. And because you challenge the jurisdiction of the court, it means it's got to stop. Okay, but they disregard that. They disregard legal rights, they disregard legal procedures, etc. Et That's why I'm in the courts now. So on, on Tuesday, it'll be again in the district court because actually what I'm pleading in the district court is uh, evidence 
of the reasons why I conduct myself this way, why I'm fighting this fight. Yes. And uh, so I, I put that in, in an affidavit, that went in uh, a few days ago, and now I've put in a, a notice motion to consolidate all three cases, okay, because the, um, and determined there was going to be a trial by jury. The day he's pulled over here. So if we're going to have a trial by jury, we don't want a trial by jury in three cases because it's all the same. So we consolidate three into one. So that's what's going to happen on, on Tuesday. Okay, so for the benefit of the listeners and viewers, it's, uh, it's a court case being held at the Downing Centre, yep. which is in the centre of Sydney, uh, diagonally opposite the south end of Hyde Park. Yep. So it is Tuesday the 27th of February. Yep. Now, you did have a, a hearing there. Uh, it may have only been a mention. It was about 10 days ago. Yep. That was just a mention, is that correct? Yeah, because uh, when you file an appeal, uh, they've got to sort out uh, case management. Okay. And uh, so the first one was a mention, organising transcripts and so forth. But on that same day, I knew what was going to happen. So I knew I was going to demand trial by jury. And I know that in other cases they said, no, you don't have trial by jury. And I said, well, I always wanted to take this question of law to the High Court. I said, no, we wouldn't let you do that. So therefore, I've gone over the, their heads by taking the question of law to the people. So I've organised this thing called a flash jury. And so we had a sort of flash jury on this one question of law, whether we've got the right to trial by jury. So we had a concurrence on that, and that has actually gone into the court. So this here is it. That is the concurrence from the flash jury on the 23rd of Feb, saying uh, uh, the, the, the flash jury have all concurred that a free man does have the right to the lawful judgment of his equals in the matter of King versus uh, me. So therefore, they put them on notice that we've already settled this, this question of law. The people have decided the people are the flash jury because that's what flash juries are. They're us. We have. Just, decided, yes, we've got the right to try by jury. <laughs> and so it's a confrontation. They don't want us to have trial by jury because they conceal all their corruption and treachery and so forth. So we've got to break, break through that barrier by getting courts with juries. Okay, very good. Now, at that mention, as I said, it was on a Tuesday about 10 days back, you arrived at the court at 9.30 p.m. Oh, so sorry, 9.30 a.m., as most people do. Yeah. But you also had a gathering from 9 a.m. in Hyde Park over the road from the court. Yeah. Will you be doing the same thing this this next time? No, because the, all the, the idea of a flash jury is to settle or answer a question of law. It's already been done. They've already concurred. Yes, we do have the right to trial by jury. That's the question of law. It's already been done. You don't keep on repeating for the sake of it. So that's already been handed in to the, the judge, a fellow called uh, Garfelman, and also the woman who was uh, the police prosecutor. They've both got copies of this. So, so they, they're on notice. They've been put on notice. Yep. Excellent. So, so you would like to uh, have uh, some of your friends and supporters at the court hearing, I take it? Yeah, I'm very, very encouraged by that, in, in fact. In uh, last August, when they let me out of jail, the uh, the magistrate there, is, he said some amazing things, and he was he was saying that uh, uh, I'm a true Australian and all this sort of thing. And he said, you know, I've got supporters, and they're here again today. So the, the magistrates are recognising that I do have the support. So, and I've had this support many times in the past, but they've kept on ignoring it. So it's really reaching a crisis now because I'm getting old and uh, I'm happy other people uh, can pick up the baton. Well, I, I certainly hope so. So again, uh, 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of February yep. at the Downing Centre in Sydney. Yep. 